Properties of trig functions. You should be familiar with the unit circle and how to find sine and cosine values for special angles between 0 and 360 degrees. In this lesson, we will find sine and cosine values for special angles larger than 360 degrees and for negative angles. We have developed a unit circle that will help us find the values of sine and cosine from 0 degrees to 360 degrees for certain angles. We can get other values by realizing that once we reach 360 degrees, we start over and the values of sine and cosine repeat. For example, to arrive at 390 degrees, we travel a full circle of 360 degrees plus an extra 30 degrees. So the sine of 390 degrees is the same as the sine of 30 degrees, since 390 degrees and 30 degrees correspond to the same point on the unit circle. In this case, the sine value is 1 half. We can find sine and cosine values for angles bigger than 360 as follows. From the original angle, subtract full circles of 360 until reaching an angle between 0 and 360 degrees. For example, from 390, go back one full circle to 30 degrees. In example 2, we subtract a full circle from 1230 to get 870, another full circle to get 510, yet one more full circle to get 150, whose cosine value we can look up on the unit circle. The same is true for radians. To find the cosine of 27 pi over 4, we realize that 2 pi is a full circle. Using a common denominator, 8 pi over 4 is one full circle, 16 pi over 4 is two full circles, 24 pi over 4 is three full circles, and 32 pi over 4 is four full circles. From 27 pi over 4, we can subtract three full circles, which is 24 pi over 4, and arrive at the same location as three pi over 4 and look up the cosine of 3 pi over 4, which is negative square root 2 over 2. We can use the symmetry of the circle to find the value of sine and cosine for negative angles. Are the following statements true or false? Let's think about what these equations say for angles between 0 and 90 degrees. When the original angle is in the first quadrant, the corresponding negative angle will be in the fourth quadrant. Sine values in the fourth quadrant are negative, while cosine values in the fourth quadrant are positive. Comparing sine values, the sine value in the first quadrant is positive, while the sine value in the fourth quadrant is negative. So the first equation is true. The sine of negative theta, the fourth quadrant angle, is the opposite of the sine of the first quadrant angle. Let's take a close look at the top equation again. The left-hand side is the sine of a fourth quadrant angle, which is a negative number since the vertical side of the triangle is below the axis. On the right side, the sine of theta is positive since the vertical side of the triangle is above the axis, and then we add the negative sign to make the right-hand quantity negative. Both the left-hand side and right-hand side are negative. In the bottom statement, the cosine of both positive theta and negative theta correspond to the side of the triangle, which is to the right of the axis. Therefore, the left side of the bottom equation is a positive number, since the horizontal edge of the blue triangle points to the positive side of the x-axis. The right side has an extra negative sign in front of the cosine of theta, so the bottom equation is false we should have instead that the cosine of negative theta equals the cosine of theta. These two statements are correct. Here's an example of how we can use our knowledge of first quadrant positive angles to help us find values for negative angles. The sine of negative pi over 4 is the sine of a fourth quadrant angle and therefore should be a negative number, specifically negative square root 2 over 2. The cosine of negative pi over 4 is the cosine of a fourth quadrant angle and therefore should be a positive number, specifically positive square root 2 over 2. We can also add full circles to find values for sine and cosine. Here are two examples. In the first example, 
we can add a full circle of 2 pi, which is 12 pi over 6, to arrive at negative 7 pi over 6. You may count around the unit circle backward to find this value, or you may wish to add another full circle so that the angle is positive. Cosine of negative 19 pi over 6 equals the cosine of 5 pi over 6, which is negative square root 3 over 2. You may wish to pause the video here to work out the second example. By adding 6 pi over 3 four times, we arrive at 2 pi over 3, whose sine value is the square root of 3 over 2. To recap, when given an angle larger than 360 degrees or less than 0, add or subtract full circles to reach an angle on the unit circle.